Sports cars are in the middle of a renaissance. The revival of the Toyota Supra and the flashy mid-engine Corvette both made their debuts last year. So it's the ideal time for Nissan to bring back its aging Z Coupe, which is starting to become dated. Previously, Nissan's sports vehicle had an alphanumeric name, such as the 370Z and the original 240Z from 1969, but this generation will simply be known as Z, despite the general public believing it to be the 400Z. Here's everything we know so far about the revived 2023 Nissan Z. Nissan made the right call and is well aware of it. Instead of abandoning its legendary Z sports car after the 370Z's retirement in 2020, Nissan did just the opposite, and they've got a stunning machine as a result. The 2023 Nissan Z is the seventh generation of the Z car series, which began in 1969. The new Z not only looks the part, but it also delivers on the performance front in a package that should be affordable. Even though two-door sports coupes like this are a dying species, Nissan took the risk and went through with it. It might have been reasonable if they'd gone the other way, but giving up on such a recognizable moniker didn't feel right. The first intention was for a live premiere at the New York Auto Show this year. Because the event has been canceled, we'll have to make do with an online reveal for the time being. After years of waiting, the new Z has arrived and we couldn't be more thrilled. The 2023 Z is instantly recognizable as a Z car. The outside style is said to be inspired by previous generations, such as the 240Z-like silhouette. The long hood and rear bias stance reveal the car's rear-wheel drive layout. Standard LED headlights with two half circles are seen up front, a stylistic feature inherited from the JDM-only 240ZG of the 1970s. The roofline flows smoothly from the nose to the rear edge, which is more inclined. The flush-mounted door handles and slim rear hatch are also attractive design elements. The fenders in the back assist to direct airflow through the rear panel, and the distinctive 3D LED taillight signature, which was inspired by the 300ZX, is also something to admire. The more expensive Z Performance grade adds a rear spoiler, standard wheels are 18-inch aluminum alloys, while the Performance trim package adds 19-inch super lightweight forged alloys. Buyers may choose between three monochromatic exterior colors or a two-tone exterior with six hues. The same 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6 found in the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport is under the hood, producing 400 horsepower. Nissan hasn't released performance figures, but with a miles-per-hour speed predicted to be 15% faster than the 370Z, a bit over 4 seconds seems reasonable. The optional 9-speed automatic transmission will launch control and aluminum paddle shifter streamline power to the rear wheels. Standard and sport transmission modes are available, with the latter activating a unique algorithm for sportier driving and improved overall dynamics. Engineers improved the body stiffness, added electric power steering, and fitted bigger front tires to both rims to increase cornering G-forces by 13%. A new monotube shock absorber design is used in the front and rear dampers, and the front double wishbone aluminum suspension has updated geometry for increased straight-line stability. Significant improvements were also made to the rear independent suspension. The new Z, like most of its predecessors, is a two-seater. The cabin has been created to fit the driver and passenger like a glove, according to Nissan. The three analog gauges on top of the instrumental panel have an old-school feel to them, while an 8-inch touchscreen sits beneath. A 9-inch screen is available as an alternative. A 12.3-inch all-digital instrument cluster with critical information that may show in three modes, normal, enhanced, and sport, is also available to the driver. Quick access controls and a vintage look are included in the redesigned steering wheel. The seats, which are inspired by the GTR, are available in black woven fabric or optional leather. Push-button start, a pair of USB outlets, six speakers, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto capability, and Bluetooth are among the usual convenience features. There are options like a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as an 8-speaker Bose audio system with active noise cancellation. Nissan has not yet disclosed pricing, but we expect the 2023Z will be a few grand more than the 370's $31,000 starting price. No less than 35k is a safe bet, the price of a fully outfitted performance trim will well exceed $40,000. The Nissan Z has a lot of competitors, but only one of them is truly important, the Toyota GR Supra. It starts at over $44,000 in base trim, and upgrading to the BMW sourced inline 6 engine adds at least $8,000. In that regard, the new Z car beats its Toyota opponent, but we'll have to wait for the updated performance figures to get a clearer picture on the situation. In any case, it's going to be a fierce rivalry. 
the Ford Mustang EcoBoost, Audi TT RS, Jaguar F-Type, and even the Porsche 718 came and are among other competitors. The wait for a real 370Z replacement may have been long, but the 2023 Nissan Z is well worth it. Its retro-inspired interior and exterior appearance, strong engine, and superior tune make it entirely deserving of its inherited legacy. The new Z is scheduled to go on sale in the U.S. sometime in the spring of 2022. And now we want to hear from you. Leave your verdict in the comments below. What do you think about the new 2023 Nissan Z? Do you think the revived coupe will sink or swim in the present market? Whatever it is, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.